Hello everyone. Welcome back to this series called Finance Current Affairs. Before I start with today's session, first of all, I would like to wish you all a very happy new year. May this year be full of prosperity for you all. It's absolutely the right time to forget about all your worries and give a fresh start. If you want to succeed, you need to give a kick start to your preparation on a positive note. With this, let's start up the session today. So before I start up the session, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever a new video comes up, you can be notified about the same. And if you want the free PDF of this session, you will uh, get that PDF on the Telegram group. So if you have not yet joined this group, the link is in the description below. Now, today's session is different from our usual sessions where I cover different questions discussing different concepts. We are not going to cover different topics today. Recently, RBI released a report called Trend and Progress of Banking in India 2020-21 report. So we are going to have an overview of this report. I'll be discussing some major highlights of this report with you all. Now, this report shares the data of year 2020-21. Okay. And what has been discussed over here, it talks about the performance of banks, performance of the NBFCs and our financial system at large. So how have banks performed during this entire year? What has been the position of the cooperative banks, payment banks, dual commercial banks, NBFCs during this time period has been discussed in this report. So why is it important for you all? How can it be helpful for you? A descriptive question can be asked on the progress of banking in India or what has been the trend of banking in India in the year 2020-21. How has been the performance of banks during this time period of pandemic or how banks have proved to be resilient enough despite of the pandemic situation. So any such question, if it comes up, you can put you can basically pick up some pointers from this report and mention them over here. So that's the reason why I would like to discuss this report in brief with you all. So first of all, talking about the major highlights. So this report says that the banking sector has remained strong enough, resilient throughout the pandemic with the support of the policy initiatives of central banks and governments. So we have seen, now it's not only the case for India, but globally, the banking sector has received a lot of support from the governments and from the central banks. And the policies have been framed in such a manner that it can help them to stay stable in the pandemic kind of environment as well. Bohat sa support ki zarurat thi aur wo support central bank or government ke end mein milta raha hai jis wajay se banking sector strong raha pandemic hone ke bawajood bhi. So higher capital, better liquidity, they have helped uh, as a cushion during the pandemic. It's important for banks to maintain enough capital so that that capital can be utilized at the tough times. Up pandemic ke time pe wo difficult times aay aur jo banks ne high capital maintain karke rakhi thi, enough buffer maintain karke rakha tha, jo basal requirement ke under zarurat hoti hai, that has helped a lot for these banks. Okay, then various steps have been taken from the central banks and from the governments and which have supported the banking sector. To mention some, there were measures taken on the moratoriums on the payment of loans. Log loan rape nahi kar pa rahe the. So the moratoriums were offered on the loans. It was allowed to uh, basically keep uh, the asset classification on a standstill. For a certain time period, you need not classify the loans at N as NPAs, taking into consideration the, consideration the pandemic situation. Then restructuring of loans were allowed. The way in which you can repay the interest, the timing of paying the interest back, the amount of interest so restructuring has been done in order to be able to pay back the loans in a more better manner back to the lenders. Then there were restrictions imposed on paying out the dividend so that enough money is retained to alleviate the stress kind of situation which arose because of the pandemic. So ye kuch initiatives liye gai jisne banking sector ko ya lenders ko basically bohat help kiya hai. As the vaccination drives 
gathered pace across the jurisdictions economic activity started turning around time bound and smooth unwinding of regulatory forbearances assumed importance so talking about regulatory forbearances there have been various measures taken where in the banks were allowed to function despite of the fact that they were not able to uh, get back the loans back on time get uh, in maintain enough capital so various kinds of relaxations were given that is what has been referred to as the regulatory forbearance they were allowed to function despite of the fact that they were actually not able to adhere to the existing rules or the requirements for so for certain time period the relaxations were allowed and as soon as it was seen that the economic activity started picking up time in a time bound manner these measures which were taken they start the government and the central bank started unwinding them okay because it's important for financial stability ab agar zarurat nahi hai aur money pump karne ki economy mein aap pump kar hi ja rahe ho money supply badhai ja rahe ho to inflation type ki problems aane lagengi so it's सो so, हर एक पॉलिसी को इम्प्लीमेंट करने के लिए एक परफेक्ट टाइमिंग होती है जब उसकी ज़रूरत नहीं है उसको अनवाइंड करना भी ज़रूरी है सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस सिचुएशन टाइमली स्टेप्स हैव बीन टेकन बोथ बाय सेंट्रल बैंक एंड दी गवर्नमेंट एट लार्ज सो फर्दर मूविंग अड टू दी क्रेडिट ग्रोथ पार्ट सो क्रेडिट ग्रोथ हैज सफर्ड वी हैव सीन अ डिक्लाइन इन दिस क्रेडिट ग्रोथ रेट और दो नाउ द रिकवरी बिगैन सो इन दी वेक ऑफ पैंडमिक especially during the lockdowns there were supply side disruptions okay demand declined and people started conserving a lot of cash as a precautionary motive logo ne paisa banks ko me deposit karne ke bajaye apne paas hold karna shuru kar diya when banks are not receiving the money how they will be using it to lend so credit growth got restricted the demand reduced the people started होल्डिंग कैश एज अ प्रिकॉशनरी मोटिव ताकि जरूरत पड़ जाए लॉन्ग लॉकडाउन लग रहा है हमारे पास पैसे नहीं होंगे लोगों ने प्रिकॉशन के तौर पर कैश रखना शुरू कर दिया ड्यू टू दिस वी सो अ डिक्लाइन इन दी क्रेडिट ग्रोथ ओके नॉट ओनली दी लेस डिमांड वॉज अ रीजन बट देर वॉज अ बिट ऑफ रिस्क एवर्जन फ्रॉम दी बैंक एंड एज वेल बैंक ने भी इतना ज्यादा क्रेडिट देना प्रेफर नहीं किया क्योंकि पैंडमिक की सिचुएशन थी तो लोग वापस रीपे कैसे कर पाएंगे ऑल दो वी हैव सीन सम साइंस ऑफ रिकवरी ड्यूरिंग द ईयर फॉर द क्रेडिट ग्रोथ सो दिस वाज अबाउट द पोजीशन ऑफ क्रेडिट ग्रोथ एज फार एस दी बैंक्स आर कंसर्न्ड नाउ टॉकिंग अ बिट अबाउट सम रेशियोज सो दी ग्रॉस एज वेल एज द नेट नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स हैव मॉडरेटेड जो एन का इशू आ रहा था वो थोड़ा सा मॉडरेट हुआ है इस टाइम पीरियड में the provision coverage ratios the capital buffers the profitability indicators they have improved to pre pandemic levels so in banks ke jo bhi capital buffer inhone maintain kiye kafi improve hue hain profitability indicators kafi improve hue hain acha khasa coverage ratio ye maintain kar rahe hain aur inke npas bhi thode bahut moderate ho rahe hain so it's a good indicator overall moving ahead to the steps taken for resolution of stressed assets so growing stressed assets is a major problem for the banking sector okay there are lot of loans which get converted into npas and it becomes difficult to recover them back so during the pandemic obviously it was difficult for the people to repay back so government and rbi have supported a lot during this time so rbi announced the resolution frameworks we have discussed in one or the other session about these frameworks framework 1.0 2.0 which focused on providing the relief to the borrowers and to the lending institutions right so this was a major step taken and it has helped in resolution of the stress assets or curbing the problem of growing stressed assets with the expiry of the suspension on fresh proceedings under ibc creditors can gain leverage on the ibc mechanism to resolve stress assets so ibc code ke use pe uh, restriction lagi thi wo ab suspend ho gayi hai and now the lender from march onwards the lenders were able to get the benefit of ibc code and get the stress assets resolved under that very mechanism so ibc जो है मैकेनिज्म उसने प्रॉपर वे में रन करना शुरू कर दिया है वापस से जिससे कि स्ट्रेस असेट्स रिजॉल्व हो सके एंड वी ऑल नो वन मेजर स्टेप टेकन दिस ईयर फॉर रिजॉल्विंग द स्ट्रेस असेट्स इज सेटिंग अप ऑफ द बैड बैंक दैट इज एन ए आर सी एल ओके सो द बैड बैंक हैज बीन सेट अप एंड इट्स गोइंग टू हेल्प अ लॉट इन रिकवरी ऑफ लार्ज वैल्यू असेट्स विच लार्ज वैल्यू स्ट्रेस असेट्स 
moving ahead to the recapitalization requirements after covid so it was seen that the banks have maintained good enough capital with them talking about the capital conservation buffer provided by basel requirement followed by india at 2.5% so jitne bhi banks hain unhone 2.5% ka capital conservation buffer maintain kiya hai that means maintaining good enough of capital which can be used at tough times so to 2.5% ka capital conservation buffer maintain karna tha wo banks ne kiya hai but still we see that there is a need to maintain even higher capital ओके ऑल दो आप रिक्वायरमेंट के हिसाब से मेंटेन कर रहे हो आने वाले टाइम में बैंक्स को और ज्यादा कैपिटल मेंटेन करने की जरूरत है ताकि जो स्ट्रेसफुल सिचुएशंस आएंगी उससे और बेटर डील कर सके ओके द वायरस हैज स्प्रेड स्टार्टेड स्प्रेडिंग अगेन सो अगेन सच काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स आर लाइकली टू अराइज फॉर द बैंक सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू इन मेंटेन इनफ कैपिटल इन फैक्ट मोर देन द रिक्वायरमेंट सो दैट इट कैन एक्ट एज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल टू डील विद सच काइंड ऑफ अ सिचुएशन ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट has been projected by RBI and told in this very report ki banks ko zyada capital maintain karne ki zarurat hai although requirement ke hisab se wo sahi maintain kar rahe hain moving ahead to the climate change one new issue which is emerging is the climatic issue and while focusing on your financial sector we need to understand the importance of uh, environment of uh, society of governance basically focus on climate is very important okay that's the reason why various central banks across the world are uh, focusing their attention to this very area april may rbi ne ek network join kiya tha rbi joined the network for greening of financial system in april so this very network has various central banks across the world and they come up together and share the practices which can help contribute to the environment which can help deal with the climate risk okay it's very important to manage the risks or uh, the climate related risk because it can have an impact on the inflation on the growth on the financial system at large okay so it's important to work on that area in fact rbi is conducting a lot of research in the area of green finance and how can climate change impact inflation growth and other macroeconomic variables iske alawa rbi ne ek aur step liya tha rbi ne ek sustainable finance group set up kiya tha rbi had set up this group in may which coordinates with other national international agencies and they work together towards the climate change it suggests the strategies and uh, the appropriate environment uh, appropriate regulatory framework that is needed and how they can include the environment social governance disclosure for betterment of the financial system okay to better deal with the climate risks which can pose to be a problem for the financial system affecting its stability so ye ek naya area hai jis pe banks wagaira kafi work kar rahe hain then talking more about open banking so open banking basically deals with that how you can uh, leverage the information which is already there how third parties can be provided the access to the customers data with their कंफर्मेंस और विद देयर कंसेंट यू कैन से अगर कोई बैंक के पास जो बैंक है उनके पास कस्टमर्स की इंफॉर्मेशन है वो किसी और फिनटेक प्लेटफॉर्म का यूज करके कस्टमर्स तक कोई बेनिफिट पहुंचाना चाहते हैं तो कस्टमर की परमिशन से बैंक वो इंफॉर्मेशन फिनटेक्स के साथ शेयर करेंगे दैट इज सम वॉट समथिंग विच इज इंक्लूडेड इन ओपन बैंकिंग गिविंग दी एक्सेस टू दी कस्टमर्स इंफॉर्मेशन ओके ऑन हिज बिहाफ so india has used this a lot it's working towards developing the open banking space where openly the information can be shared but keeping in mind the privacy standards as well so in india and in rbi in collaboration with npci developed the upi systems these can be used by the third party app providers by the api platforms of the banks to build upon okay सो हमें कोई यू पी आई ट्रांजेक्शन करनी है किसी थर्ड पार्टी ऐप से तो एन पी सी आई ने आर बी आई के साथ कोलेबोरेट करके वो यू पी आई अलग अलग प्लेटफॉर्म्स पर यूज़ करना इनेबल किया हुआ है दैट्स एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ओपन बैंकिंग ओनली एंड देन दी मार्केट पार्टिसिपेंट्स and various banks are coming up with their own apis they are having collabs with the fintech companies to provide the benefits to the customers the innovation sand the reserve bank innovation hub and the regulatory sandbox 
they are helping a lot in coming up with more better innovations developing the financial system okay at the same time one major issue is that of ensuring customer privacy and data protection so ye hamare ko neglect nahi karna hai is pe focus rakhna hai so what's the future ahead in near future we need to make our system more stronger enhance the trust of customers because it's very important to ensure their safety and security in sab cheezon mein jo hum digital platforms use karna shuru kar chuke hain kafi zyada use kar rahe hain इन्फॉर्मेशन थर्ड पार्टी प्रोवाइडर्स के साथ शेयर हो रही है तो इसमें यह बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि कस्टमर की सेफ्टी और सिक्योरिटी कॉम्प्रोमाइज ना हो इस एरिया में हम अभी तक कहीं ना कहीं लैक कर रहे हैं एंड वी नीड टू इम्प्रूव अ लॉट ऑन दिस वेरी दिस वेरी एस्पेक्ट मूविंग अड नाउ टू डिजिटल लैंडिंग सो वी हैव हैड वेरियस सेशन वेयर आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट वी हैव एक्सेप्टेड डिजिटल लैंडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म अ लॉट हम कैश में पे करने के बजाय आजकल डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स का यूज कर रहे हैं जस्ट इट्स नॉट जस्ट यूज फॉर पेमेंट्स बट वी आर ऑल्सो यूजिंग डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स फॉर बोरोइंग एंड लैंडिंग एज वेल ओके मेनी एम एन सीज कॉल दी बिग टेक्स दे हैव स्टार्टेड लैंडिंग डायरेक्टली और थ्रू दी थ्रू सम काइंड ऑफ अ पार्टनरशिप विद अ रेगुलेटेड एंटिटी एंड during all this although we are using the digital platforms again i am saying we need to make stronger our system of ensuring customer security privacy confidentiality and consumer protection so ye area mein abhi bhi hum bahut lack kar rahe hain hame bahut improve karne ki zarurat hai and is cheez ka dhyan mein rakhte hue hi sare frameworks hame banane hain next coming to the central bank digital currency so what's the position of banks as it comes to cbdcs it has not yet been launched it's a good alternative for the physical cash and there are still a lot of questions related to its design its design how it will come into picture how it will be implemented how it will be utilized whether it will be for a larger market or a limited market right now so for all that kind of crucial questions a lot more needs to be done okay Uh, before introducing them okay so a lot of things need to be navigated before we introduce these cbdcs abhi tak ki position ye hai ki cbdcs pe work kiya ja raha hai but ye implement nahi hua hai abhi tak then coming to the payment banks so they cater to some underserved sections of the society provide them with the financial services so they use a lot of technology and are under a lot of pressure to maintain the competitiveness especially against big tech players ye kafi work kar rahe hain technology use karke aur better hone mein but big tech players abhi tak inka major competition hai jis wajah se inko bahut sa investment karna padta hai bahut si bahut si cost incur karni padti hai jo unki profitability abhi tak affect kar rahi hai so they have facing a lot of competition working on it incurring lot of cost Uh, doing lot of investments because of which their profitability is getting affected or uh, and despite of that there are high incidence of frauds of complaints about the operation so bank payment bank ki profitability affect ho rahi hai kyunki wo improve karne ki koshish kar rahe hain investments kar rahe hain secondly inki kafi complaints bhi aa rahe hain kafi frauds ho rahe hain inke operations mein kahin na kahin problem hai and all this needs to be addressed customer complaints need to be efficiently addressed over here moving ahead to the small finance banks they also cater to a smaller segment of the market okay so during the pandemic they have been affected in fact they were having some kind of structural problems from before only so they need to work a lot like on risk management they need to diversify their assets their liability profiles they need to improve on their governance they need to improve on their it sector make the cyber security more resilient so ye kuch areas hain jinme unhe improve karne ki zarurat hai kyunki kahin na kahin structural issues structural problems abhi bhi small finance banks mein exist kar rahi hain then talking about cooperative banks so they have remained less affected by the pandemic they have done well although there are some structural issues with cooperative banks as well there are certain capital related issues there are certain issues about the amalgamation like if the district central cooperative banks want to collaborate or uh, when basically want to amalgamate with a state cooperative bank so some kind of uh, issues are there in the structure which needs to be improved upon otherwise cooperative banks have done well enough
Now moving to the PCA part. So prompt corrective action framework. We all are aware recently I discussed that this framework has been introduced for NBFCs as well. Ye pehle banks ke liye tha, ye ab NBFCs ke liye bhi uh, introduce kar diya gaya hai. So it's going to help the NBFCs a lot in improving their financial health before it deteriorates even further. Secondly, a very positive indicator about our banking system is that at the end of March 2020, we had four banks under PCA. And now if you see, we have just one bank under the PCA. So we have done well. Ye banks ne kafi improve kiya, jisso jise ye PCA framework se bahar aay hai. It's a positive indicator. Then talking a bit about NBFCs. So NBFCs have done really very good despite of the fact that their performance was impacted during the pandemic. You know, they have challenges faced in the first wave, ke dauran, but iske bawajood, jo NBFCs hai, ye strongly emerge hue hai. They have had good amount of balance sheet growth. Their credit intermediation has increased. They have had enough capital and lower delinquency ratio, lower amount of overdues, overdue loans which basically exist. So, recognizing the importance of NBFCs in the system, the RBI launched a scale-based framework for them, RBI introduced the PCA framework for them. So, we are doing work kar rahe NBFCs ko aur develop karne mein, kyunki ye financial system mein kaafi contribute kar rahe hai. And they have a lot of interconnectedness with the banks as well. So, further NBFCs need to be better equipped, focus on uh, cyber fraud prevention, and adopting the digital lending and gather space. So, as we use digital platforms, use kar rahe hai, NBFCs, we use kar rahe hai, cyber fraud ki problem is very much. Cyber security enhanced is very much. Be it banking sector, be it NBFC sector. Now, coming to certain facts and figures. So, if I facts ki agar main baat karu, jo RBI has highlighted in RBI, they include first to start the consolidated balance sheet of all these scheduled commercial banks. It has in expanded in size. So balance sheet commercial banks ki expand ki hai despite of COVID. Humne credit growth mein recovery dekhi hai. Pehle kaafi zada wo negatively impact hui thi. Ab hum usme wapas growth dekh rahe hai. Talking about deposits, they have grown at 10% rate compared to 11% rate previous year. Okay, then talking about CRA ratios. Enough capital needs to be maintained by the banks against the risky assets. So they are maintain they were maintaining it at 14.8% earlier, which increased to 16.6% at by the end of September. So kaise capital zada maintain kar pa rahe banks? That that's because they are having more retained earnings, which they are keeping as the capital. They are recapitalizing the public sector banks. They are raising the capital from the market. So that has helped improve their CRAR ratio. Then coming to their gross non-performing assets. Ye hamare ratio jo hai, NPS ka hi kam hona chahiye. Kitna kam NPS hai, utna better indicator hai wo. So it has declined, which it was earlier at 8.2% in March 2020, which declined to 6.9% by the end of September this year. So hamare NPS ka ratio kam hua hai. Return on assets has improved. So when we are getting more return on the assets which we have invested, then it's a better indicator. So stable income or decline in expenditure ki wajah se hamare return on assets to hai wo improve kiye hai. Then talking about the balance sheet growth of urban cooperative banks. So we have seen a good amount of growth of urban cooperative banks, which was driven by the deposits. Although the credit growth was on a slow scale, okay, that led to acceleration in the investments. So, in ke agar hum cooperative banks, urban cooperative banks ki baat kare, in ki balance sheet grow hui hai, their financial indicators have also improved, like their capital position has improved, their profitability has improved. So, urban cooperative banks ne keep ye positive indicators hai. Then, talking about the profitability of state cooperative banks, and the district central cooperative banks, so their profitability improved in 2019-20, while their asset quality has deteriorated. Then going to the NBFCs, taking consideration their consolidated balance sheet, so that has also expanded. Like we discussed, ki scheduled commercial banks' ki balance sheet expand ki hai, waise hi NBFCs ki bhi ki hai, driven by credit and investments of specially the non-deposit taking systemically important NBFCs. Iske hi saath saath unki asset quality or unki capital buffers bhi improve hoye hai. Maintaining enough capital is an indicator that you will be able to deal with the 
वीकर टाइम्स विच माइट इमर्ज लेटर ऑन प्रॉब्लमैटिक सिचुएशन आएंगी फाइनेंशियल क्रंच आएगी फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस आएगी उस केस में अगर आप इनफ कैपिटल बफर्स मेंटेन कर रहे हो आपकी असर की क्वालिटी अच्छी है तो आप उस सिचुएशन के साथ बेटर डील कर पाओगे ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंटर्स picked up from this report with this i would like to end up this session i hope it was useful for you all thank you so much